thank you. We're currently in Cambodia getting some lunch. And if you're anything like me and you haven't got a clue where or what that country is, watch this. The Kingdom of Cambodia is located in the southeast region of Asia. Here, the largest Asian temples of the world are settled, which are slowly taken over by the inevitable forces of nature. Traditional cultural habits are still lively in practice, and the country provides a living for over 15 million people. Only 40 years ago, 25% of its entire nation died during the genocide of the Pol Pot regime. Despite this tragedy and an intense yearly rain season, people nowadays remain amazingly friendly. <laughs> now let's get back to our cuisine. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got in here. Some sushi. This one is with egg. Here's the seaweed and cucumber plus some wasabi. Then we got here some dumplings with I guess some sort of chili sauce and ketchup. Our tools for today are wooden chopsticks and a freshly squeezed sugarcane juice. These things are the best. Bon appetit! So that was a pleasant lunch. We finished everything, well except for this. Two plastic drinking cups and the stuff that comes with it. Sushi containers with all the extras, plus some useless green decoration. Dumpling box with two sauce cups and annoying foil. Two sets of disposable chopsticks with wrappers. And some plastic bags. The amount of packaging used for a lunch is ridiculous. The stuff has a lifespan of 10 minutes. What a waste. Thank you. Now, I'd like to show you guys where all this waste ends up. So, we're going to the landfill. Landfills can be found all over the world, usually outside the city. And it's because the governments don't really know what to do with the huge amount of trash. But they prefer to keep it all in one place, so they create giant mountains of trash, like here. This mountain doesn't only affect the landscape, but also its environment. And this thing right here is the river. Let's get up there. Like a dirty sauna in here. Walking around here feels like being on a different planet. Junk is everywhere around and underneath. I'm basically walking on stacked up trash, about three houses high. Sandals is not the right choice to walk around here. They started dumping at this place only a few years ago. The guy living here must feel pretty shitty about his backyard view right now. And you can find almost everything here. From old electronics like these keyboards, to dried up coconuts that are composting, to very 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 worn out toothbrushes and super creepy children toys. But here in particular a lot of textile related waste. Little pieces and cutouts of fabric, mostly leftover material from the massive clothing industry that is based here in Cambodia. But the dominator of this mountain is plastic. Disposable spoons, packaging, bags, combs, you name it, it's here. But most of the material here can actually be recycled. For instance, you can heat up and remold plastic that is laying around and turn it into something new. But also things like... Mm, 
This glass bottle can be molten into something new from glass. Or paper can be shredded and turned into pulp for new paper, like books and packaging. Like I said, it all can be recycled. But it gets very difficult when everything is mixed together, polluted and soaked into soy sauce mixed with motor oil. It becomes a stinky mess. And that's the problem with landfills. By throwing everything together on one big pile, you basically create a mountain of crap. Which eventually will just get burned. And that's why it's important to separate your waste. In this way you create a mountain of new material instead of a mountain of trash. Now get off the sweaty stinkle. Oh.